everyone. Good evening. My name is Ankita Sharma and I'm a master teacher of biology at Vedantu. I welcome you everyone in this one short video of improvement in the food resources. Now I know that many of your exams are over and thanks for that, you know, that you are still watching the video. That's a great thing. But still I know there are many of students who are out there who are waiting for our videos and here for you. The last video of the one shot everyone and we will be finishing our syllabus today. So let's move ahead. You know the drill everyone. We have been a great success with these things. And of course, this is a very important quote for all of us. Do something today that will your future self will thank you for. So everyone, today what we are doing, we are studying a very interesting chapter and that a chapter is this and of course with that we'll be grabbing a lot of marks. So no issues with that. This is revised and everyone you'll be like, ma'am, ye khatam ho gaya. I know it's over but if you still want to go and check out the classes everyone, it will be available to the 18th of March. So go out and revise once again. And this is a Question, homework question everyone and the answer is stratosphere, right? Which layer of the atmosphere in ozone parts, right? So it is the right answer everyone is the, the stratosphere. So and like majority of you have given the right answer. It was list was so long that we were unable to fix it over here. But thank you so much everyone. Let's start everyone in today's class we'll be learning about the crop improvement, crop variety improvement, crop production. Then we'll be doing the crop protection management and of course then we are doing animal husbandry. Let's start our class everyone. Very basic thing everyone throughout the year we have been running around this topic the Kharif crop and the Rabi crop. So Kharif and Rabi crop are the two different types of crops everyone based upon the season. So Kharif crop is a season in which it will be sown in the hot season right. It will be there from the June to October that is a rainy season in India and Kharif are those crop. Rice is an example everyone and Rabi crop are the one which are sown in the month of November and of course will be taken in the uh, month of April. So these are the two important classification of the uh, crops everyone. Let's move ahead. We have a proper understanding of this. Kharif crop they have given a definition everyone. Right. Hold on a while. Note down this. Take a screenshot of this because it's so important right. It's so so important. See, crop grown in a rainy season, everyone. Crop grown in a rainy season, June to October. Maize is right on. Maize is one of the option, everyone. It could be right option for you. Pea, coconut, green gram, all of these are our Kharif crop. Moving on, let's see about the Rabi crop. Crops grown in the winter season, everyone, in the month of November and April. Over here we have wheat, gram, peas. Again, this will be the answer. Now let's see the farming practice everyone. We know that the farming definitely requires lots of effort, lots of work and over here we have categorized into the three important things. Same as in your NCRT. The first thing everyone is crop improvement and crop production improvement, right? So let's see what are the three. Yes, we have crop variety improvement. We are improving the variety of the crop by choosing good seeds, etc. Crop production improvement, we are increasing the production of the crops and the third one is the crop protection. We are helping in the protection of the crops. Let's study them everyone individually and I want you to pay attention now. Now we are talking about the variety everyone. How we can increase the variety? By a process of hybridization. Now everyone we know that hybridization is nothing but the mixing of two great characteristic features to make one of a plant. So in the process of hybridization everyone what we'll be doing we'll be taking two of the great species two great species of wheat and mixing them and of course that process is called as hybridization and that will be giving us lots of varieties. Let's study over here intervarietal right two different varieties all together two different variety all together we know rice is different and wheat is different if we are crossing them together to give or to get something amazing that is the intervarietal hybridization everywhere intervarietal so we will be focusing on the word variety over here okay second in this specific species basically everyone is different 
टू डिफरेंट स्पीशीज ऑफ अ सेम जीनस ओके एग्जाम्पल कुड बी द डोंकी एंड अ हॉर्स दे विल बी प्रोड्यूस दे विल बी गिविंग अस म्यूल राइट इट कुड बी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस एंड इंटरजेनरिक बिटवीन टू डिफरेंट जेनरा ऑल टूगेदर कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट जेनरा दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द इंटरजेनरिक ओके completely different genera everyone all together let's say um it could be a various example like a, there's a cat and there is a dog right it could be completely different genera all together okay then we have genetically modified crops now these are the crops in which we are basically modifying the genes according to the our interest so we are changing the genes and we are trying to get us new species which has a desire characteristics that are needed by the environment Let's move ahead, everyone. After this, we have crop production and improvement management. Now, in crop production, everyone will be seeing these different things: nutrition management, irrigation, and cropping pattern. Now, let's study them in detail. First, everyone, we have the nutrient management. So we know that just like humans need some extra nutrient, we and our plants also need it. So to provide the extra nutrient into our plants, we usually add the menu which is organic in nature which does not have any of the harmful chemicals and on the other side we have the fertilizers right which are synthetic made which have chemicals and they are not so environmental friendly also a common question everyone asks in your examination is that write the difference between a menu and a fertilizers and everyone you can look over here take a screenshot of this everyone a very very common question asks in your examination okay let's move ahead after this everyone we have the irrigation now irrigation is the water supply to the plants right so it was of different different techniques initially they used to do the well right they will be taking out the water from the well dung well right then we have tube well still used in lots of part of a country then everyone canal system uh, water from the various places will be taken up and will be going into a small small canal a big river will be divided into various small canals that will be reaching various places near those river next everyone is a tank system it, uh, basically over here does water will be stored in a tank like structure and of course it will be used in the future purposes next everyone is a river lift system directly everyone the water will be lifted from the river or uh, from the river and of course it will be transported to the places which are nearby the is this particular area that is nothing but the river lift system moving on ahead everyone a very important question asked in many a time in your examination is about the cropping pattern the first thing that we are studying everyone is mixed cropping now what happened in mixed cropping everyone what happened there is a growth of two or more crops simultaneously on a same land two or more crops everyone okay you see there are two different lanes okay right of a same piece of land on a same piece of land it is grown wheat can be grown along with the gram wheat can come with the mustard or ground nut or sunflower this is how the combination is everyone two or more crops are grown on a same piece of land simultaneously that's how we are using the land for a better production this is called as everyone mixed cropping next we have intercropping growing the two or more crops simultaneously in a same field in a definite pattern now in the mixed cropping everyone there was no pattern sorry something had happened i don't know what let me just fix it everyone okay seems like an okay yeah we are back now let's see from here everyone this is the intercropping and what happens in intercropping usually they will be grown on a same piece of land two or different variety and the only difference between the mixed cropping and the intercropping is that mixed cropping was grown randomly whereas in the intercropping everyone will be using a definite pattern now if you look over here everyone we'll be using a definite pattern for it that's the only difference between these two and the last one everyone we have the crop rotation Now what happens if you see over here right if you see over here on a same piece of land what will happen 
different types of crops will be grown everyone different types of crops will be grown and they will be helping in the enrichment of the soil everyone right they will be helping in the enrichment of the soil that's why they are grown at a different different individual individual time okay this is about the crop rotation now these things are very common everyone they can ask you the three marks question to write the difference between all of these so be prepared with that now this everyone in this midst of exam and everything is running so fast take a chill pill record a jingle on samajh aayega to maza aayega maza aayega to samajh mein aayega and of course upload it over here and you will be winning a goodies worth 25000 rupees everyone so what are you waiting for go and prepare this jingle and show your creativity to us let's move ahead the last topic that we have everyone is animal husbandry now in animal husbandry we know that everyone animals are reared you know grown together taken care to have a commercial benefits so the humans will be growing these animals feeding them sheltering them breeding them uh, providing them a good health so that they can use it for their commercial purposes so over here we have various other categories now whenever we talk about the animal husbandry everyone we always talk about what we have to do for the animals we have to properly feed them we have to provide them a better shelter we have to provide them a you know doctor care and at last a breeding facility now these are the very basic things any of the animals that we will be needing now first thing everyone is the cattle farming in cattle farming everyone what happens we are talking about the breeds which produce the milk so what happens we have seen from the ages cattle has been used as a bullock cart to uh, you know in the plow and of course to get the milk right so all of these things requires animal care and once we are doing that these animals will provide us with the commercial purposes okay yes next everyone is the poultry farming we usually have a habit of the you know thinking about as a birds right the birds are the one which gives us eggs meat etc and of course they also need a proper care as any of us would need proper shelter proper environment where they can breed it actually a proper proper doctor facility so that you know they can keep themselves away from any of any sort of disease okay that's about it everyone then we have the fish production india is rich with the water both fresh water and the sea water and that's why we have two different types of fishery we have the you know capture fishing which is going and just capturing it and of course the culturing of it is done various places will have a marine fishery right the fishes which are coming directly from the ocean and of course on the other side we have the fresh water fishes also now both of these actually helps in the a uh, population to get a great source of vitamin a and other important nutrient now india being a coastal lands is you know free from all the sites to get n number of fishes to its area right and of course these people who are living on the coastal area use that as their occupants right let's move ahead everyone last everyone is a bee keeping a very very good profession which uses the honey bee right there are lot of variety of it everyone in india we have this variety right apis serena indica this is an indian variety everyone which is a great variety and now these bees basically collect the nectar right and they produces the wax or the honey bee right now this is one of the common thing we all use okay and they are so so easy to handle now this particular type of uh, farming is great for the people who have a great farms if they have a great you know uh, beautiful flowers near them so that they can these bees can go there and collect the nectar and of course from this the honey will be made with this everyone we are done but yeah it's the season of your examination everyone get micro courses at rupees just 1 rupee everyone don't miss this chance go and look for the courses quiz time let's see quiz 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 first question everyone on your screen which of the following is a micronutrient micronutrient means everyone which of these nutrient will be required in a very small quantity in your ncert textbook they have mentioned it is it nitrogen magnesium iron and phosphorus 
See, nitrogen and phosphorus are the macro ones. So, magnesium and iron has to be one. What is the right answer, everyone? Absolutely correct. Option number D is right, that is iron. Next question. Animal husbandry drills with feeding of animals, breeding of animals, shelter of animals, all of these. And we superly know that all of these will be the right answer. So, all of these is right. Next question, everyone. Identify the Kharif crop from the following. Paddy, wheat, gram and linkseed. Which one is the Kharif, right? Kharif are the one which are grown on a rainy season. So, what do you think? Let's see the answer, everyone. And the right answer is option number A, paddy. That is also called as rice. They need more amount of water, everyone. That's why they are the Kharif crop. Let's see next question. The, grown, the growing of a different crops on a piece of land in a proper pre-planned succession is called as intercropping, mixed cropping, crop rotation with B and C, everyone. And the right answer will be crop rotation. One after the other, one after the other, one after the other. That is the crop rotation. Good. Next question. No, we are done with it. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for coming here and learning with us. And here's your final homework question. Among manure and fertilizer, which is better in a longer run, you have to tell? Why do you think so? So you can write about it. Why you think so that manures are better than the fertilizers? Anyways, I think we have discussed the answer in the class itself. So I will be eagerly waiting for your replies to that. And with that, everyone, these are amazing students who studied with us and got amazing ranks. And with this, ta-da! Bye-bye, everyone. We are done, everyone. All the best for your exams. Do well in your exams. And do write in the comment section below how these videos really helped you. Right? So we'll be eagerly waiting for your comments. Don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Apart from, from it, everyone, hit the bell icon so that you can get the notifications as we are putting a new video on our channel. On this note, everyone, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.